hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and y'all as you can tell we're in my shower i'm looking crusty and dusty which means none other than it is time for a wash day and as you guys can see i have my hair already pre-pooed off camera and if you're new around here i love the just for me pre-poo that's what i ended up using here today but as y'all read by the title we're getting into the cream of nature coconut milk line and y'all I have been talking about pulling this out of my stash for so so long i have tried them before and i'm so so excited to get into them but first things first go ahead hit the subscribe button we would absolutely love to have you and comment it down below so that i can personally join you to our kiki crew fam let's go ahead and get right into it so y'all see me going ahead and taking my sections of my pre boot out i put them in twists because my hair just gets the tangle and not only does it get the tangles but it retangles and tangles again and tangles again and again and again and again so um yeah i like to twist my hair up in sections throughout every part of my wash day but here you guys see me going ahead and just rinsing my hair trying to um scrub my scalp a little bit just to try and get any dead dirt off before i go in with the shampoo so i'll let you guys watch that for a little while and get into the length because rapunzel is rapunzeling okay All right, y'all, so boom. We are going ahead and I'm gonna section my hair in four sections because that's the way I wash my hair. And we're just gonna jump straight into the shampoo. So it is a whopping 12 fluid ounces. It's a whole lot of product. Um, I told you guys that I did use this before, so I'll show you guys where I left off. Um, I don't know why I stopped using it, but I did, so that's what it is. And we're just gonna go ahead on this section. It does have a nice pearl that pearly type of shampoo consistency um i will let you guys know off rip this collection just smells absolutely oh my god like tropical getaway times a thousand um so as you guys see i'm going ahead and applying the shampoo and the leather is lathering mm -hmm. i did want to let you guys know that this is not a curly girl friendly collection so the shampoo does have sulfates if you're you know not a sulfate girl and the conditioner does have silicones so um, the shampoo claims to be detangling um, and I did try to go in and finger detangle a bit just to see what it would do. As I said, my hair was already pre-pooed so I detangled already so it wasn't difficult for me but even still I felt some resistance there so I wouldn't go too crazy but you know, if you need to, you can. So on the bottle it says the detangling and conditioning shampoo um, with certified natural coconut oil. This formula nourishes natural hair while detangling and adding shine. And one thing I will say y'all, the shine is very prevalent. I can't wait for y'all to see the final results because it is there and it shows all the way out. So here I have rinsed out the shampoo and not good enough child because there's still some there. So I go off camera and get that rest of that out there so that we can go ahead in and try the conditioner. So I'm back after rinsing out again and we have the conditioner and again this is the same 12 fluid ounces and I used you know a good bit more of this. Um, so we're going ahead in with this one and I absolutely love the consistency of this conditioner. It was so just creamy and I don't know y'all it just went through my hair and wait till y'all see the way it soaks in. I'm not even going to say nothing y'all will see it conditioner wear conditioner wear like the conditioner literally just sinks right in and i was absolutely obsessed with the application of the conditioner and i feel like is it me or can y'all see the shine and to be clear this conditioner does have the same claims as on the shampoo it just claims to um, aid in detangling and add shine and for the conditioner I would say that it does that here I'm just going in and doing a bit of finger detangling um, I take chunky sections like I said my hair just tends to get retangled so I try to detangle throughout the process I don't have like a set time that I 
detangle my hair except for you know pre pulling but I try to just finger detangle throughout the entire process and this is what my hair looks like with the conditioner and y'all like get into it the definition is there it ate that conditioner all the way up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I was very impressed for the application So here we're going in on a different section of my hair because um, you guys know that I just have different textures throughout my hair so I went in with this top quadrant and it is less dense and it just um, is a different texture it's a looser texture up there so and everything just doesn't work the same so I try to show you guys both sections no matter what section of my hair though I did have to go in twice with conditioner so I would um, you know wet my hair apply conditioner see if that was enough wet my hair again apply more conditioner and I felt that I like had to do that every time so I did have to go in with a good bit of conditioner which I'm not mad at but as y'all can see it sunk right into my hair that was not a problem and I feel like it left behind a lot of shine and like I said, it wasn't difficult to detangle. It wasn't the easiest detangling process that I've had, but you know, it wasn't bad. Silicones had a tendency, at least for me, to have more slip. Um, but in this case, it wasn't the best detangling conditioner, especially since that's what it's called on the bottle. And this collection is just for normal hair. It doesn't cater to anything specific, but um, yeah. All right, you guys, so I am back and these are my final, final, final results. And this is what my hair is looking like. So I will say that my hair is pretty defined, it was soft, it was airy, but it needed more moisture. So it wasn't that I disliked the collection, it just, it just wasn't, you know, impressive to me. The shampoo was good, it was cleansing, but moisturizing at the same time. It didn't strip my hair, it definitely left some moisture behind, which I really liked. And the conditioner, like I said, it was cool, it had slip and everything, but it wasn't it wasn't my favorite so let me know down below if you have tried this collection here before and your thoughts on this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye